Do you think the water will reach my bedroom? Caden asked. They were the first words Caden had spoken to him all week. Will kept track, for the therapist. Caden's, not his. She would ask Will about it at Caden's next visit. His son suddenly seemed so small, much like the little boy that he'd been that night two years before. Will looked away, unable to face him. Maybe, Will said. He couldn't lie to him. He wished he could. He would love to tell his son what he wanted to hear, that their house would be spared the damage from the incoming hurricane, but he couldn't. At 13 years old, Caden was way too smart for that. He knew what a Category 5 storm could do. Will you grab my backpack? Will asked. It's just inside the door. Caden grunted and dropped his suitcase near the back of the 1978 Jeep Wagoneer. Will had opted to take the old SUV rather than his truck. The truck was insured. He could get another. But the Jeep was irreplaceable. It had been his grandfather's and would be Caden's in another three years. Will placed the hammer and nails back in the garage and pressed the down button on the remote. He knew the next time he saw his truck or his tools, they would be underwater. The house had been spared during the last few hurricanes that had hit the Texas coast, but this time the monster storm was heading straight for them. Even though Caden wouldn't articulate it, Will knew what was on his mind. Will felt it too. If the house still stood after the storm passed, instead of opening his closet and smelling the scent of his wife's perfume, he'd smell the stench of stagnant flood water.